Hey everyone, it's Minty, and this is my entire art process, including colouring and line art, with some tips on how to use alcohol markers. I've already done the sketch, and I won't really explain that, because I would say that's just down to individual art style, which is unique for everyone. The markers that I use are the Ohuhu brush and chisel nib markers, and I have quite a lot, but I started with the original 48 set, so if you're a beginner, I would recommend that one. Starting off with the skin, I usually have two or three colours, a base colour, blush, and shading. Firstly, I use the lightest colour, to create the base. Do this as quickly as you can so it doesn't look patchy. The blush is my medium colour which I add on the ears, cheeks and the nose. To blend that out I go back in with the light colour and I use circular motions so again it doesn't look patchy. At this point I'll move on to the eyes and go back to touch up the skin later. Again the eyes are a very stylistic thing but personally I start with the light base and then make it darker towards the middle of the eye. Then I add a shadow to the upper whites of the eye and I like to do this with a light purple colour. I always start by lining areas of the skin and the eye with pink biro to keep things looking soft but I usually darken the lashes later with black to make the eyes pop out. I also add in the pupils with black biro because I find that black marker can get a little bit dangerous when you're working in such a small area. It's a little hard to tell because the eyes of this drawing are brown but I usually add a black shadow over the top half of the iris if you get what I mean. You can see it easier in some of my other drawings. I also like to add in a small circular highlight to the eyes with white gel pen but I can't really recommend you a brand because mine are always running out so quickly. As I did with the skin, I'm using the lightest marker to colour in the base of the hair, but I always do this in small sections to make blending easier because big sections will dry out and your blending will look streaky. I've chosen three darker colours to add shading, but if you have less markers, it's fine to use two. Whenever I blend, I put down a darker colour on top of the base and then blend it out with the lighter colour. I repeat this using darker versions each time until I'm happy with the depth. I tend to stick to the circular motions, but you don't have to. It's fine for your hair to look a little streaky because it will give the appearance of hair strands anyway and in addition to that you're always going to add line art on top so it's not too big of a deal if you mess up. I should have mentioned at the beginning that I colour before line art whereas most people do the opposite. I think if you colour first it keeps the flow of the sketch because line art directly on top of a sketch is a big commitment and a lot of the time it can look really stiff. Basically this blending process just repeats in the other sections of the hair. Remember to be quick to avoid the ink drying so keep your markers very near you, maybe even with the lid off for easy access. You may notice that sometimes I stray from the technique that I've mentioned and I just skip out the base colour stage. That's because I'm really comfortable using markers so I just go with the quickest route but if you are a beginner at colouring and blending, it's probably best to stick to the technique until you find your own flow. A random marker tip that I have for you is that you can always layer a darker colour on top of a lighter one but I would avoid putting very light colours directly on top of darker ones because it can create a very weird texture that can sometimes ruin a drawing unless that's what you're going for. Generally with the line art I just use a biro of the same colour but my red didn't show on top so I had to go with brown instead. I outline the sections of the hair and then I add a few lines here and there to make it look a bit more like hair and not just a blob. But for any of you wondering the characters I'm drawing are two of my OCs Martha and Archie and yes I did change their designs for the 10th time. If you've made it this far into the video comment your favourite art supply and I'll reply to you. I just noticed that I added shading to the face off camera but it's pretty simple. I use purple around the eyes, around where the hair falls on the face and the sides of the face, that's pretty much it. With clothes, I follow the exact same blending rules, although I usually add in the base all at once and I don't use sections. It's also best to use a chisel nib to cover more space quickly and most of the time it needs a second layer to look smooth. I'll either use one or two darker shades for the blending and I place that where I think there would be shadow. A lot of people might think it's weird that I kind of finish individual sections of the drawing separately. I think most people build it up as a whole, but I just like seeing the face or the hair be completely finished with line art while I do the rest because it makes me excited to see how it will all look together. Sometimes I like to add hatching in the darker areas to really emphasize that shadow and add more of a sketchy feel to it. Although I think I went a bit overboard with the hatching this time, but I still like it. Throughout the rest of the drawing, I follow the same rules for every different section of the character, except the wings, but we'll get to that later. Honestly, when I filmed this video, I had no clue what I was going to talk about. I just filmed the process to use later on, but I figured it would be a good time to actually explain my process in detail as a lot of you have been asking me to. On my list of summer videos is Rebuilding My Red Bubble Shop, a tutorial on how to start an art YouTube channel, reacting to old art, and maybe a few how to fill your sketchbook videos. So let me know in the comments which of those sound most appealing and maybe any other ideas that you'd like to see me try.
Martha's character has changed so much and I'm still not happy with it, but it's definitely better than this crazy looking thing. This is the drawing that her character spawned from and I want it to have the same vibes, but I also want to stick to the skirt instead of trousers because I don't think any of my other characters wear skirts and I like to have some variety with my OCs. I'm not done with the tutorial part of this video yet, by the way. I just thought I'd change the subject for a bit because all the parts of the clothes were coloured in the exact same way, so there's not much to say about them. One thing that I should mention though is that if you get the pink biro from Bic, you can actually use it as a blush or a pink tint because it dissolves in light colours, which could be annoying, but for me, I really like it because it creates a really bright pink tone that helps the skin pop so much. Now, you may be able to tell that I went a bit off the rails with the wings because I've never drawn wings before. Actually, I have a few times with this character, but I'm no expert, so honestly, I just slapped down some greys because the wings are supposed to be white, but then I also added a little bit of brown, even a bit of pink, um, just to make it seem more feathery and light, but honestly, it looks a little bit messy. Okay, that's the first character completed. I gave her a little hedgehog companion, which I find really cute. Um, I didn't film that part because honestly, it's just a brown blob. There's not much to it. I also added some pink in the background just to fill up the white space. And now we're moving on to Archie. I must say, Archie was a bit of a mess, mainly because I'm not that great at drawing boys and I haven't coloured one in quite a long time. I mean, it shouldn't really be that different, but it just threw me off a little bit. So you can see that I'm doing the same technique with the skin and the eyes. The only big difference is that I tried to give him a bit of a jawline or cheek thingy. I, I don't really know how to describe it, but yeah, I just shaded that area. But that's also because his face is facing more to the side, so I'm not just going to stick to the simple blush. The eyes were honestly a struggle because I don't like to put as much detail into the eyes just because I don't want them to look like they're wearing makeup or anything. Um, but later on, I did give him some eye bags because I thought the eyes were looking too slapped on, kind of like googly eyes, and I didn't like it. So yeah, later on, you'll see that I used that purple shading to give him some more depth but that's about it. And I'm not gonna explain the hair here for two reasons, because, you know, I already did on Martha and hopefully that was enough, but also I just messed it up a ton because I wanted to go with some lighter hair, but the greys that I picked were honestly not blending and I should have put more time into looking at the color sheets and actually picking out the colors. But as you can see on the top left of the screen, I'm actually using my color picking sheets as decoration for the video and I didn't actually look at them one time. I usually don't, but honestly, if you're a beginner or if you just want to put effort into your art unlike what I did um, you should look at the color picker just because the markers always look a little bit different on paper and you want to pick out the colors that will definitely work together another tiny not very important mistake that I made was hatching on the lighter parts as I said earlier hatching looks best when it's in the dark areas and if you do it across the whole drawing you might as well just apply a filter to it so yeah if you want to hatch I would say just stick to the darker areas as you can see with the cloak cape sort of thing I am using the chisel nib to color in the entire thing because it is a bigger area and then I tried to blend it out but I kind of just gave up you know I thought they are supposed to have a little bit of a rustic look anyway and I'm really annoyed that I didn't purposefully add dirt stains and stuff because I love to do that to my characters to give it a nice authentic look you know um, so unfortunately I can't really show you how to do that but I can tell you it's really simple honestly just get a brown or maybe a grey if you want to go for an ashy look just splodge it on there blend it out a little bit but you can keep it patchy it probably looks better that way and then just hat over the top I would say draw a little hashtag and it just looks like a dirt skid mark or something and yes I was too lazy to do the full body but I just don't know what the design is yet and I didn't want to commit to something and I just wanted to finish the video quickly so I didn't bother with the trousers but again that probably wouldn't really help because it's just the same technique over again hopefully you've seen enough of it to actually learn how to do it and obviously there's so many other ways that you can color and line art this is just one way and if you want your art to have this kind of feel then go for it but there's so many other tutorials out there and I would suggest looking at a few to see what you actually like the best. I ended up colouring in the background with these blue stripes and I really don't actually like how it looked. I just wanted to fill it in quickly but I should have taken a bit more time to do something more interesting but it's giving me ocean vibes and that's definitely not what I was going for but at the end of the day I still like the drawings themselves. Martha looks a lot better than he does but I hope this helped. Leave a like only if you want to and a comment if you have any questions and I'll 
I'll make sure to answer you. And now this is really random, but I wanted the video to be 10 minutes long and it was really annoying me that it wasn't. So here's a time lapse of me writing the font for my thumbnails since some of you asked how I'd do that anyway. So here you go. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Comment what you want that to be. Um, bye.